project that we have called CT as an API to C++ that uh, enables the programmer to program as if they were uh, you know, programming single processor but take advantage of TerraScale performance. You take an ultra-mobile device and you add a little bit of sensing capability, in this case magnetometers and accelerometers, and you couple that with an application like Google Earth. When you combine just a little bit of sensing with these new devices, you get a device that's much more natural and intuitive to use. What we are trying to see here is if we can leverage Intel's advanced technologies such as uh, silicon uh, innovation, manufacturing, and in microelectronics with the expertise we have in biology, uh, chemistry, and engineering. The model I'm holding in my hand is uh, depicting the use of this biochip in a mobile device that can be used on the field to detect a person's clinical status right away. At Intel, we've built a device we call the Mobile Sensing Platform that is equipped with 10 inexpensive everyday sensors, and we're using them to explore health and wellness applications. The idea behind the array configurable antennas is that we put FET switches in them so that we can change the radiation patterns of the antennas to support 3G, Wi-Fi, and WiMAX frequencies. Front end module is the components between the RFIC and the antenna. Here we demonstrate a new approach to, to design one front end module which is configurable for different communication standards. We consider a new technology that allows us to reduce time to market to provide a new system for novel multi-radio communication devices. So as you put multiple radios on the same laptops, the radios are well going to compete for the spectrum, air resources, and front-end antenna. And if you have a micro-nation, you can have them running simultaneously without user interrupt. So this research is really geared to help the industry solve issues in power, size, flexibility, and cost of radio systems for end-user platforms.